Hello you guys. It's a lovely Saturday evening. Ryan and I just got back. We went to Central Park, Upper East Side. We just had the best day. I should have vlogged it, but honestly it was kind of nice. Just we enjoyed it, the two of us. And it is time to get in the holiday mood and I thought I would do a little weekend vlog, kind of like tonight and then tomorrow, because he leaves for Thanksgiving tomorrow. He's going back to Atlanta. I'm leaving on Monday, but I have this little Christmas tree that I want to put up and I thought it'd be fun to do it with him while he's still here, so. Um, Let's open it. Yeah, we're gonna open it. I'm gonna get the Santa hats. We'll put them on, oh put the Yule log on. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new here, subscribe. Just a fun little festive vlog for you guys. Pack with me tomorrow. Welcome back. Right, I bought these hats on Amazon. Oh, and I have this ornament. It, it literally looks like my mirror. It's the same, it's from Anthropology, guys, look. <laughs> I got it, it's matching. I got these hats on Amazon because I was trying to be like cool and trendy, but I didn't realize they were long. So, yeah, we're working on that. Appreciate it. <laughs> Does it fit? Yeah. <laughs> the vibes are being created right now. Oh, I gotta get the Christmas tree scent going on my Pura. This thing is so cool, I can control it on my app. So right now I've got Capri Blue going, but I'm gonna stop it. Now we're gonna start back up the Fraser fur. Intensity up a little bit, yeah. Let's make it smell like Christmas trees in here. Ryan, are you okay if I play some Christmas music? It feels illegal to not. I was gonna wait till after Thanksgiving, but this is my favorite playlist on Spotify, the Christmas classics. Start with a good old Christmas song. Oh, magical. So I wanna put the Christmas tree here, so I guess I'm gonna have to move the lanterns for now. Cause I thought it'd be so magical, like people outside would be able to see my tree in the window, you know? I got this tree because of Sarah Bell. She posted about it. It's a seven foot tall, super skinny tree from Michaels. I'll link it below. I feel like it's the perfect size. All right, here are the things that I have to put on the tree. I got this star from Amazon. Hopefully it fits, <laughs> we shall see. And then I just decided to go with some neutral ornaments went for gold, so beautiful. And then we obviously have this one. I wanna get a couple more like accent ornaments, like things that are meaningful. And then I got this tr uh, tree skirt. It looks kinda, we'll see how it looks when it's down there, but um. Still just fluffing the tree a little bit to make sure there's no little gaps here. And we'll start decorating. Go! are so it right now. I'm so happy. Now like when people walk by, they can look up and see the tree. I was thinking too, when I get back from Thanksgiving break, I'll be in full on Christmas mode. So it'll be nice to walk into my apartment and have a tree, even though I won't have it lit while I'm gone, obviously. Electricity. But that was so sweet of Ryan to help me. That was such a wholesome, we've had the most wholesome day. We went to um, Central Park today and there was this guy doing um, film photos and Polaroids, you had to pay obviously. But we did it and it literally looked like something out of like a Taylor Swift music video or something. It was so cool. Oh wait, I'll show you guys the photo, duh. Isn't this so pure? Like it looks like, like a throwback photo from like the 80s or something. Reminds me of the song Long Live by Taylor Swift. It's one of my favorites of hers. I said remember this moment. I'm just having, ugh, we're just having the best day. I like wish I vlogged earlier, but like I was saying, honestly, it was just so nice. We just had such a nice day. We woke up, we went and got bagels, and we watched the Georgia game until we were really beating them hardcore. So we were like, okay, let's just enjoy the day. And went to Central Park and walked over. Ugh, it's just been so nice. And now we're deciding if we should either like go to the theater where Book of Mormon's gonna be 
because there are no tickets online and see if anyone's like two tickets like I've literally never done that and it's a risk to get all dressed up and go and potentially not get seats or Mrs. Doubtfire also looks really good and funny and the fact that Ryan's actually in the mood to go to a Broadway show I'm like banking on this I'm like let's do this while, while, while it's hot um, not that he's not into it but like he doesn't always he's not always like let's go see Broadway you know Saturday nights we either do a comedy show or Broadway, I guess. That's like our new thing. So he just went back to do some work emails for a little and I'm going to clean up and honestly just sit on the couch. I'm gonna upload tomorrow's video. And then yeah, tomorrow's gonna be like a get my life together. But the night is not over. The tree is up. That took literally 20 minutes. I'm so happy right now. Mm. Ryan and I just realized like, oh, we need to eat dinner before we head on this escapade. So. He's going to pick up some noodles or pasta or something. I'm just boiling some water. Because I believe I have some pasta sauce. Oh, it's so cozy in here right now. Yes, I do. That's enough. I also have some broccoli that I need to cook before I leave. So that works. And I have these green beans. Maybe I should make the green beans because there's more of them and he eats a lot. Yeah, I'll make the broccoli for myself tomorrow for lunch. I'm gonna start making the green beans as well. We'll get to it. Hot tip, pour the sauce in once the pot's all hot. We just strained the penne. This is probably such common knowledge, but I just think it's genius. You don't have to like have another pot to heat up the pasta. And you don't even have to turn the thing back on. Like it's already so hot. And then literally you can just pour the pasta back in. It's so satisfying. All right. Oh, baby. Woo. Now mix it all together. Fold it. Oh my God. That episode of Shit's Creek. Fold the cheese. Fold it. Yeah, just you just know. fold it. Great. We're eating good tonight. R.I.P. That stomach. Hey. Okay, guys. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we just scored two tickets to see the Book of Mormon. It says seats 17 and 19, but on the map it shows them next to each other. So I'm praying that they are. We'll see. Also, Alabama is currently getting. Well, they're not losing right now, but they might be beat by Arkansas. I don't want them to lose, though. I don't want to play them again. Well, we're, mm. well, we're gonna play them, but like, I don't know. Sorry to my Alabama fans. Go dogs. <laughs> Cheers, we just got tickets to Book of Mormon. We're eating pasta, it's a good night. <laughs> Here's a little outfit of the night for the theater. <laughs> I'm wearing the same Spanx leggings that I was wearing earlier. I will link them below, I love them. I'm just wearing this cropped fuzzy black sweater. And then this jacket is from Princess Polly, I love it. Um, and then my boots are Steve Madden. I will also link them below. They are so comfortable. Also can't stop using this bag. It just goes with absolutely everything. We're about to head out. I can't believe we got tickets to go see Book of Mormon. Today's just been the best day. I'm so thankful. And yeah, I'm gonna switch to my phone now though because I don't know, they're kind of weird about cameras sometimes. Woo! What's our review of the show? I thought it was good. That was really good. It was really, really funny. funny. Now we're on the hunt for some pizza. Walking through Times Square, don't text. Secured the Zaw. Got it. <laughs> yeah, we're trying a new pizza place today. We'll see how it goes. A little to-do list for the day good morning guys it's Sunday it's kind of a getting your life together but I realized I do have a lot of time today at the same time like there's a lot I have to do but I think I can do some enjoyable stuff I really want to go for a walk 
or a workout or something because I actually have like time today. So I'm headed home tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I literally haven't been home in three months, you guys. It's actually insane and I'm so excited to see Finley. Oh my gosh. When I leave for vacation or a trip, I really like to leave my apartment super clean, the trash taken out, laundry done. So when I get back, it's like perfect. So laundry needs to be done. Dishwasher, I'll run that in the morning. Pack. <laughs> Um, what else do I have to do? Brooke and I are recording a podcast this today so that it goes up while we're at home for Thanksgiving. Wow, that's like kind of it. I mean, these things will take a while, but other than that, I can just enjoy the day, which will be really nice. I wanted to fly home today, but the flights were like $300 more if I flew um, today. So I was like, I'll just go tomorrow. I'm going from a Monday to a Monday and a vlog when I go home. I need to make my bed, clean up a little bit, and shower, but also if I work out, should I shower after? I always struggle with that. The reason that I'm sober as well. On December 26th at Camp Beach for the holidays, it is the perfect way. You guys know what time it is. Ginger shot o'clock. Cheers. That feels great. <laughs> All right guys, I just decided to shower because I just it felt good. Um, I didn't even mention this morning, I said goodbye to Ryan for the week. A lot of people ask like, oh, are you going to his or is he coming to yours for the holidays? And we like just graduated in May and we're both kind of like, both of our parents want to still see us when we have time to see them. Um, so I don't know, we're not at that point in our relationship where like I'd go to his for Thanksgiving. My family would actually be so pissed at me, vice versa. So, and it's like a week and we're used to doing that in college anyways. And we're together a lot here, which is really, really nice. It's definitely cool. It was a lot easier to say goodbye to him today because I know like, oh, we like both live here now, you know? Like even in college, it was hard for me, but I don't know. I was like, you know, I'll see you soon. I don't know. It's just like we're in a good spot in our relationship where I feel like comfortable, obviously. And we also, I think it's also because we had the best weekend together. It was just so nice. So he's on his way to the airport, or he's at the airport now. So it's almost noon right now. And I was gonna go down to my gym to work out, but I think when I go home, I'm gonna hop on the Peloton there. We have a bike downstairs, but it's not a Peloton. And I don't have like my cleats or anything here. <laughs> excuses, excuses, I know but I'm really into going for walks right now and it's like 50 degrees outside, so it's pretty nice. It's not like freezing cold. Um, so I kind of created this little itinerary for myself. So I'm gonna walk to Essex Market. It's like a huge, like they have a ton of little food vendors and stuff and I'm gonna, I think it's called Essex Juice or something. Essex Squeeze maybe. Um, and I'm gonna get a smoothie there and then take the train to Seaport because you go, actually will not see poor. I'm gonna take the train to Fulton Street, which is Fidei area. I love Fidei, like catch me living there one day. I love it there so much. Um, I was also thinking about exploring more of the East Village, but I really wanna be by the water, just like I need it. Even though tomorrow I'm literally flying home to Florida, whatever, you know, I just wanna explore some new places. I went to Brookfield Place two summers ago and fell in love with it. And I honestly just wanna walk around and like have a main character day. I'm really into doing that. I just, I'm trying to be more intentional about it and it'll be a good walk. I was gonna walk all the way there, but it's like a 48 minute walk. And then once I get there, I wanna walk a lot. So we're gonna take the train. Um, I'm going on the way down. I'm gonna bring my box, uh, my Christmas tree box and put it in my storage little unit. So thankful for that, otherwise there would be clutter everywhere. Wow, I don't look great right now, wow. Here is my little outfit, it all kind of matches and it wasn't intentional, I was like, uh oh, orange and purple. But my shoes have literally orange and purple in them, I always forgot that. This set is from Gymshark, I love it. Puffer is from Lioness, I am obsessed with it. I will link it below for you guys, I love it because it's cropped. Um, hopefully I won't be too hot, I'm always so hot in my apartment. And then I go outside, I'm like, oh no, I actually dressed correctly. Um, and then this little fanny pack situation has come to really great use for me. It's from H&M. I will also link it down below. They also have it, I think, in black and silver, but this is like a tan and gold. So yeah, and then my shoes, I will link them down below. They're from Nike, they're so comfortable. Hairs in a ponytail. I kinda wanna do a claw clip, wait, one sec. Okay, that didn't make a huge difference, but I just didn't like the black hair tie. So we're doing a claw clip situation. Yeah, that's the fit. Um, let's go for a walk. I'm not gonna bring my camera. We're switching to the iPhone because that will not fit in here. Let's get a smoothie. Let's nourish our souls. 
Let's sit by the water. Woo! being by the water I can't explain it maybe you guys know what I'm talking about but it's like ah oh, I can take like a deep breath I took my airpods out too just so I could like hear the sounds I love this area so much mark my words I will live here one day <laughs> Just got back it was such a lovely afternoon it's just so important sometimes to listen to your body listen to your mind and do what feels right and for me it was just for going for that long walk and it felt so incredible on my way back up I picked up my suitcase for my storage room because I'm gonna start packing for Florida oh my gosh I have to look at the weather but it, ugh, Florida's so confusing because sometimes it is cold around this time of year no not really it's not gonna be cold to me actually it's like 60s I'm gonna be thriving honestly um, and I'm only going for a week so I don't need to overpack oh my laundry's done too also like ugh, my apartment's so clean right now and it was just so comforting walking into my tree I put my lanterns over here for now they look fine there I don't know I don't really have the energy to bring them downstairs to my um, storage room and I could still turn them on and they kind of be a vibe there I know it's a little cluttered but I truly don't know where else I'd put it but I'm just so grateful I can't believe I live here every day I just love it here I found this um, coffee shop video on YouTube it's like live it's constantly playing jazzy Christmas music and it's such a vibe right now Okay, so I'm leaving for a week tomorrow and I have some fresh produce in here. So I figured I would cook it all now. It's broccoli and green beans. Can't get enough of that. You guys know I'm a hoe for broccoli and green beans. So I'm just going to cook this all up in my big old always pan, which I believe is on sale right now. I'll have it linked down below. If it's not still on sale, I'm sorry, but it has been for a while. And I did post it on my Instagram story, so make sure to follow me, at Danielle Carolyn. <laughs> I'm just going to cook these, and then we're going to start packing. Broccoli is done. Now I'm going to make the green beans, and then I have pasta too, so I can have this for dinner later. And it's also a good snack right now. Time to fold laundry might be my least favorite chore ever, but it has to happen. And I need to do my laundry before I start packing, because... The worst is when you pack everything perfectly and you're packing cubes and everything and then it's like, oh wait, what about all that clean laundry that I wanted to bring with me too? So, I want to know what my inventory is before I start packing. And yes, I did wash lights and darks today because I was just too lazy to do both. And when I do that, I just do a cold wash and it usually works out pretty well. All right, just finished, I call it the rough cut <laughs> of packing. So that means I put all the clothes in here. So I love packing cubes. I will link my packing cubes down below. They're just, they really help. So these are all my bottoms. These are workout top or workout sets and a t-shirt on top to sleep in. Um, these are like basic tops that I wear every day with like jeans and stuff and then these are all of my fun blouses and dresses I literally just packed random things. I didn't plan outfits. So hopefully it'll work out I packed a lot of dresses. It's like 70s all week So I feel like I'm just gonna flounce around in dresses and shorts all week We're going to a Bucks game tomorrow night Monday night football is a gift to my whole family for like an early Christmas gift I'm taking them all to the Bucks versus Giants game um, it's Monday Night Football, that'll be fun. And then I also love this hat. It's from Hands Hats. She has the cutest stuff. 
Um, and then, so I'm gonna shut that for now. Planned my airport outfit for tomorrow. And then I pulled out all the accessories I wanna bring. I'm obsessed with sunglasses. And then I'm bringing some other necklaces, earrings, and this is where I'm gonna put my intimates. So, and then I also need to pack shoes and toiletries and stuff, but Brooke's about to be here, so we're gonna take a quick pause on packing. We're in therapy right now. <laughs> talking me through it my entire life. This right is now. just so yeah. perfect. I'm sitting here too. <laughs> I was like, so my next thing that is. And how does that make you feel, darling? <laughs> um, I think you start. Cool. I reckon. We're rolling. Hey. <laughs> hey, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. It's Brooke. And Danielle. Hello. Is that like National Friendsgiving the Thursday before Thanksgiving? I just thought, I don't know. I just kind of thought it was something you do. It's now 11 p.m. Brooke left around 9.30. We had a great episode. It's nice and cozy in here. I just took another shower. It felt so good. I'm all packed up. <laughs> Updates to come if this shuts in the morning. This suitcase definitely has a lot of give. Hopefully, that'll be a tomorrow morning problem. Got my airport outfit over there. I am so excited to go home. I literally haven't been home in three months. It's so crazy. I'm not going to wait that long ever again. Wow, I look really good. Hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you soon for my next video. Bye.